Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this. They're, it's pretty cool. Their design is a plaque that's going to sit on a desk, and they want to put this oval base on it. And the real video, the real part of the video, they asked if there was any quicker way to remove the lines of the oval. So I'm just going to kind of recreate what they did. I'm just going to draw an oval. And we're going to set it like right here. And then just make a duplicate of that. Control D. And just move it down a little bit. And then you need to delete these lines. So if you get the Virgil Segment Delete key, and this is what their question was, how could they easily remove these lines that are in the text to make it look like it's a a base without really magnifying in and, and deleting these lines. Well, once you've deleted it, I've got my nudge factor set on five inches. I'm just going to nudge it out of the way, take my virtual segment delete key and just circle that and then just move it back. So now you've gotten rid of the lines that were going through the text. I'm not sure the Smart fill tool will fill this in. Uh, I don't know if it's complete or not. And it did. And there you have how you would get the lines through that base. Now let's just do another thing real quick. Real quick, let's see if this works. How about if you selected the item and go to object and go to order and put it back a page? There you go, it did the same thing. So you can either delete them. Matter of fact, you could probably do that on the, all the lines that are going through there. Let's just do this. Let's just select this and go to object, order, back a page. And there it is. It's taken away the lines. They're, there, they're still there, but you can't see them anymore. And now you can fill that in with the Smart Fill tool whatever color you wanted. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.